flies? Of course it flies. It's a half goofa. <laughs> Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Scott with 1T. And today we're back again with our Let's Play series of God of War Ragnarok. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. I do Let's Play series content Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. I also recently started doing some discussion and theory videos. So if you're interested in any of that content, consider subscribing. It will really help support the channel and also help others that may be interested in similar content find these videos as well. All right, so previously we left off. We went to Alfheim with Tyr. Tyr is like not wanting to help us with Ragnarok uh, we also found that the one the Goa person like what she told Odin was actually a lie and that Odin and Asgard is actually going to fall in Ragnarok so um, that's what we found out in Alfheim and we're just going to continue and pick up where we left off I think we're still in Alfheim I didn't go back and there was another area that was opened up in Alfheim, and I'm interested in checking it out. So I don't know. Maybe we will. Gotta get the gotta get the gear upgraded. Yeah, so there's we can go back. But then this is opened up. And Tyr kind of made a sly remark like uh if you want to see what war does, go check it out yourself. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. <laughs> Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. <laughs> Good. Yeah, lead the way. We'll be able to reach the barons up top once we find a way past this hive matter. I remember these things. Definitely Dark Elf territory. Oh. Son of a... Come here, you stupid raven. I can't. Like I can't get the um depth. What the heck? Like I feel like it's right there. Alright. This is gonna drive me crazy if I didn't eventually get it. Hello, fellow travelers. Hey. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. All right, cool. We're going to track that. Whatever you need. Do we have any upgrades? We do. We can upgrade the Leviathan axe. All right. This axe just keeps getting stronger. Yeah, it does. OK. 
Okay. It's chaos. Nope. Um. I mean, this gives us more strength. I mean, 12. So this isn't What is this? Gives us more defense. I guess these don't have any like cool what you call it. Let's upgrade this one though. Defense drastically goes up. May it strike true. Have we more Oops. to talk about? Yes. Keep remember I keep forgetting that circle does not just take you back out. Soldiers of Enlightenment. Mm. Don't have any Dwarven Steel. I mean, a little bit of our strength goes down, but it's already level 3 though. Let's see what else we got. Racers of Enlightenment. Defense goes down a little bit. We have more strength. But we can also upgrade this to get more strength. These are pretty good though. Has some luck, has some strength. We can upgrade them. We upgrade it and attach it, we just lose three defense. Spatter free this time, right? Kratos? <laughs> and we can upgrade it again. Oh, yeah, it's going to give us some cooldown, too. Yeah, buddy. Let's go ahead and upgrade it. Wear it with pride. Okay. Waste armor. We lose some strength, but we get some runic. Yeah. Lose strength and defense, but we just get a little bit of luck. I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. Oh, got time to chat? Okay. I think we're good. And <laughs> this one is plain. Jeez. All right. Upgrade the Spartan Rage. Yes. All right. Just 
still don't have one. Oh, I want to get skills though. Oh, we already have all the skills. Modify tokens, mod tokens amplify an aspect of a skill. Select a skill with an open mod token slot and press X to view. Right. Unlock mod tokens for a skill using XP. Freely change the token on a skill once unlocked. XP granted, purchase a skill mod now. Stun. I think stun would be really good. Oh, okay. That's cool. And let's look at what we got. This. Go now. We'll be out for a trace. There we go. Instinct trace grabs enemies for longer. Father son combos. We'll get to that. That. Okay. Cool. Now we're good. Let's go explore. What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. And they're just happen to be dragging a sled. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated gulon. Most unusual. Is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. <laughs> Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? <laughs> up here. Can I go over here? Oh, oh cool, they follow me. 
what I'm talking about. I need a resurrection stone. Damn. I keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting to get that damn resurrection stone. Because in my mind, I feel like I didn't even, like, get it. Like, like I didn't use it. This is the last. 
Come on, pick up the health. What are you doing? I can't pick that up. Come on, Kratos. Off your back. Keeps like barely getting me, man. Why am I even doing this to myself? I should just stick to the main story. What am I doing? Purposely putting myself in this horrible situation. The freaking dark elves. Horn. Hmm. <laughs> All he does is groan at it. What's that? A diagram for a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what. Nice. I think the animal's inside. Whatever's inside is kicking up quite a bit of sand. How do we reach it? There's caves and tunnels of plenty out here. Let's find one and see where it takes us.
hitting me right now? It's like right there. Like, it's like just barely passing it. There we go. Finally. So apparently there's like a cave around here, I suppose. Some are right here. Oh, here we go. This cave extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. Great. I'm doing a good amount of damage to him. I am a little bit of a lower level, but level two. But at least, uh, you know, taking him out. Hope I can take out this one or something. Ah. 
You know, now that I know more about the Dark Elves, I wish we didn't have to fight them. They attack us. Well, this is their home. And considering what happened <laughs> the last time we were in Alpha, can you really blame them? Okay, so... I guess I have to go up there. Then we have this thing over here. are. Maybe we'll find them along the way. I heard like a little, I heard a little critter somewhere. Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. <laughs> All right, Trace, I guess you're going first now. I can't just leave that there. Future. The creature you heard, what does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just... I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. <laughs> okay. Watch, Trace, you gotta shoot that thing.
All right, so there's one in here. One out here. interested before when I talk to animals or enchanted wings or whatever much has changed for both of us well yeah I'm just trying to figure out why you'd help some random animal is this not what you want no no it, it is I'm just surprised it's what you want too Figure out where the heck this thing is at. Nearby. It only lasts for like 10 seconds or something like that. Second one, right? Yeah, I got some help. Behind you, brother! 
to abandon it <laughs> but if we have to kill a bunch of dark elves to get there i remember a young lad whom until this very moment would take on an army of draugr to save a wounded animal but these aren't undead draugr they're elves i just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes getting involved where we shouldn't tear got it in his head You. I'm not going down there. Oh. Alright, we're getting a bunch of dwarven steel though, which I'm liking that because I need that material to upgrade my armor. So this is paying off very splendidly yeah there is very sweet on what in the hell They got some crazy little puzzles in this one, man.
<clears throat> what the heck? What is the puzzle, man? I mean, there's gotta be something with this thing, right? Bomb should help us out. What bomb, bro? What bomb are you talking about? I just like stupid and can't see on oh yeah I am it's just why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alpha we wind up hurting dark we are down here to help the creature you heard I know that but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals why do you care so much is there something you're not telling me no okay Ever. I didn't even see that bomb. Nest. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Just exploring the deserts of Alfheim. So so far, I'm really liking the fact that there is a lot of detail and 
think we've been to three realms so far. Really haven't trapped, like, explored Midgard that much, though. Uh, what is it? Hey, Gethune's ghost! That's the largest bloody half goof I've ever laid eyes on! It's not just in pain, it's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Luch. I'll get you out. Wow. What is that name? Well, the last squid thingy we saw was Diener, so... Oh boy. Well, I appreciate the attempt at humor. That little brother is truly awful workly. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. here I think the one thing blocking it's gone now. Looks like it can move now, but it still can't get out. Much of the hype matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? Afghifers are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our Dark Elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves, any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources, one the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it. Silver hack, silver hack, silver. <laughs> Whispering slap. The hell is that? Shoulder straps. They look goofy as hell. But strength is 34. So. Luck goes up plus 17. I mean, there's really no downside to this other than it looks goofy as hell. Hmm. All right, well, we'll come back to it. <laughs> I guess they were just here waiting. Loose here. It flies? Of course it flies. 
flies. It's a half goofa. <laughs> Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but we don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered... He just wants to spend time with you, lad. While he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you... for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Nice. All right, let's head back. Nice. Now, we, now we can see. There's something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy, Odin knows all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. Enough. We will continue later. All right. Now we're back here. Spartal find slag? Give it here. Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if, well, do you know what a juicy Noken is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy... No. <laughs> <laughs> oh man all right so with that i think this is a good place to wrap up today's episode nice little side quest in the deserts of alfheim if you stuck around i appreciate it do me a favor hit that like button subscribe let me comment down below also don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter sky with one t for all my dates when i drop my content so we're just going to keep uh, pumping out these uh videos so make sure you have that notification bell turned on and with that everyone have a good rest of your day and i'll catch you all next time see ya